Hey guys, look at this. Just finished building it in my dreams. No, I'm not capable of building something this amazing. This is the off-gridder gasifier created by Ben Peterson. Everything lives on a single base here. So we have our rather huge gasifier that stands using modern measurements 63 inches tall. It's a beast. Next to him we have the cyclone and condensate tank or trap. Output from the cyclone to the cooling tower with its rather ornate cooling tubes here. Metal rings, hundreds of them, stamped onto the stainless steel down pipes that run to this tank. Gas travels across the tank, condensate outlet there. Then the gas travels up through what I believe is a filter column to what I think is a water separating cyclone. Not quite sure, but it certainly has that sort of a look to it. That connects to another tank where we have another condensate drain port. A couple more drain ports here. Not quite sure how they work. I'll need to take this apart to some degree in order to understand what's inside him. Then Here's the outlet. I'm not sure what size that is. It may be two and a quarter inch, maybe two and a half inch. This little gasifier here, if I understand rightly, is rated for about 40 to 50 horsepower. And it runs on much bigger chunks than my machines make. After all, this machine makes sugar cube sized chunks which would not be a good thing for this little beastie as it's got a much bigger mouth and bigger teeth so I'm thinking I'm going to be making chunks for this something in the order of about two and a half inches square ish let's have a look around the other side eh? right Things are a bit cramped in here, I've got a lot of project going on all at once. But right next to this beast is the condensate tank for the gasifier that connects over there. There's a little outlet. I need to move things around in order to get it lined up properly. And here's the other side of our cooling tower and uh, hot cyclone. filter tube or tower and of course our water separator cyclone. I don't know whether a separate filter needs to be added to this but I'm thinking I'll do that anyway. My intention at the moment is to mount this big beastie onto a frame with wheels sort of like this one that I'm building for my earth drill project. Just a little aside here nice earth drill that auger there the motor that drives it it's a two man post hole borer operate it by yourself and you run the risk of causing yourself some injury so I'm building this machine that will do the work for me all I do is push a button it digs the hole yippee anyway back to this the idea is to mount it on a trolley something like that with go-kart steering like this has got and there'll be a motor car engine a four-cylinder 40 or 50 horsepower engine driving a fairly large gen head the beauty of it is because this is modular it can be taken off that generator and mounted onto a pickup truck so when I run out of wood I can go down to the wood station and get a few gallons more of wood. Ain't that pretty? I just can't get it all into the camera. <laughs> it's uh, 
Yeah, this and maybe I need a bigger camera or something. Anyway, fellas and the fella isses, this is the latest little thing here at the CNC is fun electricity making ranch of oh, whaty goodness. Merry New Year!